All right, so we have AudioVox's wireless vehicle rear observation system. As you can see, I drive a huge truck, so it comes in handy to have something on the back that will be able to protect my kids when I'm backing up. So now we're going to have my installation crew, my husband Dave, <laughs> show us how easy it is to install. You have to narrate. Narrate? All right. Pull the two screws off to take off <laughs> the light housing. Never knew you could unscrew and take those lights off before. Take things out of the package. You get there, you gotta take the license plate off. Or at least the bolts for it. And that's where the sensor bar is going to go? The camera. The camera. So then all the little people and their bikes, toys, and everything else is left in our driveway, I'll be able to see. That's a nice metal bracket. Good for you to get that in for the advertiser. Hold it on. <laughs> That was pretty simple. Yep. Yeah. Stuff the wire back behind the license plate. So I can pull it out from underneath. And then screw it back on. Let you run the wire behind your license plate and then through your back light. You can get it and you have to hook it up with the bottom, which you can kind of see is done there. Not, not the cleanest part of the whole job. And then you'll want to use the wire ties that they actually give you to. No, they don't give you wire ties. Okay, sorry. They don't give you wire ties, so you'd want to get wire ties to make sure that your wires aren't dangling on the ground. Trim it up. Done? Done under there. Nice. Yeah. We just have to use the little quick tap splices to power the little camera. Black will always be ground on your vehicle, so it makes it kind of easier. Close them over with a pair of pliers. And then you do the same with the power. And the great thing is you can wire it back here and not have to wire anything to your car. Right, no wires running from the back front of the car. It's a wireless system. And then we'll just wire tie this little extra bundle of wires up out of the way. And we'll be done at the back of the car besides bolting it back together. Alright, so the installation's complete. As you can see, you just have a little camera that hooks right in there on the back of your license plate. There's no other wires hanging down or any place else. And now we'll go check out what we can see from the front of the truck. Now for installing it in the car, you have a little camera that we are looking at. And my car just happens to have a little spot 
right here that we're going to see if we can go ahead and attach it using some Velcro to sit it right on in there. Okay, so we put some Velcro on the top. That way it'll be easy to take in and out if we need to. And you have the little video screen that we'll be able to see. Plug right into your cigarette lighter. Does anybody really use them as a cigarette lighter anymore? <laughs> or just to plug in all of your electronics? Alright, so we have everything plugged in, but we ran into a little snafu. As you can see, instead of seeing what we're backing up, we're just kind of seeing snow right now. So Hubby is trying to see um, what he can do in the back to see if there's something that maybe we did or stuff that we missed. Alright, once we checked it out, and now you can see... <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! He did it very proud of himself. You have a nice colored picture. The only thing we were just talking about is it is not to judge distance when you're backing up. Because um, actually those bushes that you can kind of see going up our front porch are much clearer. Um, are much closer than what they appear on the screen. But there you have it. All you have is a little screen there. You can easily see if there's any toys, any kids, or anything back there as you're backing up. Um, it'll come on as soon as you put the car in reverse, so I look forward to um, driving safer or at least backing up safer. Plus it comes with extra wires you can hide behind the dash if you don't want to have a cigarette lighter plug all nice. the time. Nice. Oh. There you have it. Pretty easy installation um, for the AudioVox car reversal safety system. Um, so as you can see, it probably totally took us about 20 minutes um, opening the package, getting it installed, all of that good stuff until we can see behind us. So this is Mel, the box of chocolate, saying go out and get your own AudioVox car reversal kit so that you can drive safely too. Um, be safe out there, and I will see you soon.